that to working. Turn that crap off. Okay. Hello and welcome to Winter Forge. It's an awesome mod that allows you to change enchantments and armor and weapons. You can change your own or build your own. Ouch. Etc. So, um, to start with, you can download it on Nexus or wherever else you want to download it. And then you get this. I think once you reach a certain level, she pops up in your little camp. Some elven chica. She talks to you about a really lot of crap, but I don't care about that. So, these various items. You're not going to need these scrolls. I think it's an old edition of this mod where you had to create formulas and then it would create this little thing in your inventory then you'd have to click it to learn it and it would give you um, you could make some kind of part you could make a part of an enchantment that way so you don't need to actually do that anymore so the scrolls are just there to be pretty unless you uh, want to learn something that you don't have I guess you could do it but really there's scrolls gonna drop all over the place in this game now so um, it's kinda fun play install at the beginning of a game and then you can collect them throughout um, this has to do with enchanting and disenchanting items this can store all your enchantment if you don't um, if you're not like me and you don't mod your game to have like a million quadrillion slots which I can explain if you guys have questions on that um, and then this anvil is used to create items, but you don't actually have to use it anymore. They've created some really cool uh, things in your skills menu. So here's the Winter Forge skills. This has to do with configuration, which we'll get to later. It's boring. Um, item creation, item destruction, and cheats. And then down here, you'll get your enchantment, which you have to take, use points to get it up high. And you can drag and drop this down here. Um, the other thing you'll get, I know I have a lot of these other mods, so just these are the ones we're looking at, okay? Um, so this thingy you'll find in your inventory after you install the mod. And, no, 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 sort by newest, let's go. So it's down here. And you just, you can click it in your inventory and then it'll open after you close it. Oh, didn't work, so drag and drop it here and then it'll open it. And this is your action bar. It's lots of different things. I know it looks confusing, but we'll go over each one and talk about As you wish. how to do things pretty simply. Okay, and then you click it again and you just go back to normal. Okay, so... <coughs> this, let's, well, let's do, let's do enchanting. How about we start there? Why not? Okay, so you can disenchant items that have... Um, you just right click on it, okay, and if your item has do, 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 enchantments on it, like 4 dexterity, dexterity, 6 damage, etc., you just drop, drag it and drop it here, okay, and then you close, and now it's there to be disenchanted, and all you have to do is just click this little button again, boop, it'll ask you if you care. You know, and then sometimes it'll destroy them, sometimes it won't. You can adjust the chance of this through the settings, which we'll get to later. Take all. And then it puts your stuff in here. So see, you get all of these things, and these are used to make new enchantments. So I'm just going to take all of those. Uh, now that I've got some of those thingies, um, so say I want to do this. I want to enchant. Right. It's going to say... Your tool is currently empty. Prospects of okay, so you can't. It's On it. gonna say you suck at life. <coughs> so all you have to do, which is bizarre, and I don't know why, you have to put um, some kind of gemstone on it or green stone. It doesn't matter if it's a green stone. Some kind of gemstone. I'm just wondering, like, where they are. All of these extra things in here, we I'll explain. They're new materials that the mod adds. Here we go. <coughs> doesn't matter. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be 17. It can be one. Close. As long as there's some kind of gem in there, you can click this, and now it magically brings you to here. And it doesn't actually use the gem. It just signals it that we're opening something different. It's bizarre. But go here. 
Um, here are the different enchantments. So if I want dexterity, it'll tell you here, dexterity bonus. Range is, you might get a plus 5 dexterity or a plus 6 dexterity, and it won't have any restrictions. Okay, so, so let's say we want to make this one. Let's say we want to make this one, okay? Let's start here. It's grayed out because I don't have a radiant crystal of cunning. Your crystals creation are going to be down here, okay? Radiant crystal of cunning. I need a greater attribute essence. That's the only thing I'm missing here. So sometimes you do use um, those things. So I need to find a greater attribute essence. Here we go. Um, I have lesser attribute essence, two attribute essences. Here's what you can do. Take that off. You can combine them and you can also make them become smaller. So, a lesser attribute essence, attribute essence. You have to drag one individually. You say, now you close, and now when you click on this, as you wish, it combines them. So, that's potent. Ooh, I don't want potent. That's the highest you can go. Close. I want them to break down. Now, let's put it into two attribute essences. So maybe I need, I'm not sure how many it takes, obviously. So now I have two lesser, and maybe I just need one higher. Takes like three lower. Potent. Oh, I failed. How do you do this? How do you do this? I do not know. Um, okay. So maybe it takes, but I don't know, it's demonstrating how you can mess with this crap, right? One attribute essence plus one attribute essence, which is four smaller, makes the potent. Got it, okay. So then if we have two attribute essence and we want to make close, two little ones, we do two little ones, right? Ooh, actually, we want to do, now we have four little ones. These are the smallest you can go, four lesser. Okay, I bet it takes three of these. Look at me learning. Right. I are a smart girl. Greater, yay! Okay, there can be some figuring out to this. And by the way, you can um stack all yours into the biggest if you want and have it take less space. I keep all mine in my inventory, like I said, because I have... A ton of storage because of a because I modded it but you can also keep them in here but it, when you're trying to use them you have to have them in your inventory or it won't work okay so now I'm going to go back and tell it I'm trying to find a gem here's a ruby okay now that there's a ruby on there we can open this again okay so we wanted to create an inscription of cunning and we need a radiant cunning crystal. So scrolling, radiant cunning. Now we can do it because we have a greater. So create item. And that has popped into our inventory right here. Awesome, right? Okay, so now we go to right here. Now that's what we have. And then we will create an item and it's going to create this little guy. Okay. So here's your skillful inscription of cunning. And it just says the same thing on it that it did in the enchantment kind of page. So if I want to enchant, say, this weapon, I'm going to take the rubies out. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put that right there. And you can put as many um, of these in here as you're able to. You can adjust how many enchantments an item can hold, max being eight. So if you have it at max, you could put up to eight and they'll all do it at once. You don't have to do them individually. So now you press that button. Whoops, no, you don't press that button. Now you, oh, you know what? I did it wrong. Here we go. Good thing I'm telling you right. Okay, you put your item there. Then you do this. You right click and you select use, okay? Now when you close it, pops this little thingy up. And then you push it on there and it does that fanciness. Now, 
it has plus five cunning, it could have five or six, and it gave us five, the jerk face. Okay? That's how you uh, create the various f parts of enchantment items like these thingies. So it takes essences and sometimes stone and sometimes... Let's look at some other one just to give you an idea. Diamonds. <clears throat> so obviously we can't create any of these yet. But so radiant spell, shielding crystal, potent magical essence, radiant willpower crystal. Wow, you need a lot of these things. So these are like the really high level glowing strength crystal. Um, there's from the beginning here. But you've got faint crystals and then you get some glowing crystals. Uh, and some of these require like a glowing crystal. Like sea glowing Kunari crystal. So you'd have to go back and create it in here. And then you get your radiant crystals. And then you get your pristine inscriptions. Oh, you don't create any crystals here. You just create inscriptions unless I just don't have them. I haven't found all of the formulas yet. Anyway, here's something to note. You cannot combine crystals to create a bigger one like you can essences. Okay, so if you create a bunch of faint crystals and you're like, oh crap, I need a radiant crystal or a glowing crystal of that type. You can't combine them. You're screwed. And you can't disenchant them. So uh, save your materials until you're ready to use them is what I'm saying. All right. And that should really cover most of enchanting. I, by the way, I made these swords with this mod. They're pretty sweet. Sarah's Keening Blade. That was using the auto name. We'll get to that in a sec. Sarah's whatever, Dragon Bone. So I put all of those, I crafted the items from scratch and then I put all of those, um, what am I trying to say, enchants on it. Alright, moving forward. So do you remember how we took all the enchantments off of those items? Well, that, that, that one's not there anymore, but wasn't there another one we did? No, let's do that real quick then. This is a mod that I can't get rid of, so just ignore that crap. Okay. As many, I think, not quite as many as you want. I think it, like, if you go to here, it'll uh, do all the first ones. So if you pick some up and they're not disenchanted yet, then you just need to do it again. But always take the ones that are already disenchanted off because it'll have a chance of destroying your item and that would suck. So you don't want to put items at risk twice that you don't have to. I hope that made sense. Okay, so here's the part. This is the little destroy thingy. I'm gonna drag all of these that I just... Can we just stop sucking? Okay. Give you planks of dragon thorn. Sweet. The planks you get are completely dependent on the tier of the item. I'm confused. Did I leave these items here? Yes, I did. <laughs> Step one get your items off the atul, or atul. I don't really freaking know what how you say it. Atel. So I'm showing you this because it's giving you dragon bone ingots. These are all tier seven, that's why you're getting those. Alrighty. By the way, you can also go to this little dude depending on your settings and you, Something can, you need? can adjust those. Sure. Shut up, Bowden. And he's going to have other stuff to sell like crystals and planks and all of this stuff you can use for enchanting and weapon and armor crafting. You can also set it to show up in every store. can get expensive though. Sorry, I had to have a water break. Okay, so say you want to craft an item. This is a little button you push right here. It's a little little thing. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. Okay, so now it's giving you some options. Do I want to make armor? Do I want to make clothes, shield, accessories, weapon, ammunition? Alrighty, um, let's go with a piece of armor. Um, let's go with... 
um, medium armor and then we're gonna say what we want to work on helm glove pair of boots let's do chest okay uh, this is kind of the, the what am I trying to say the, what it will look like okay the model that it will use and it's okay that if you don't it's okay to not know what it looks like because you can change that later so I just pick one at random whatever um, now you can pick the materials and uh, again based on the material it shows what tier your item will be so star metal is eight that's the highest tier in origins okay so now I've chosen eight you can make things part of a set if you like or if it's already part of a set you can remove it from a set say you're just altering an item you already have uh, but I like to do this afterwards because you can and it just makes it so much easier so move to final step craft the object don't push destroy unless you want to lose everything I don't know why you would do that this you can name it yourself or this automatically name it by like saying Sarah's something like I did with my sword and my uh, dagger so let's say we want to name it for some reason you can't use a space bar so let's name it super armor of pooping confirm and then just confirm for end now we look at in our inventory super duper pooper scooper okay but we can't wear it because <clears throat> it has a requirement of 38 strength star metal usually it says the tier like mine says drake skin tier 7 it just says star metal which is interesting because I guess tier 8 doesn't show up alrighty say I want to be able to wear it and I'm like dang you stupid face I want to wear this you can go into the cheat mode using this item which again you find in the bot in your inventory okay you can open it once you put it there now uh, let's just quickly go there's a lot of stuff here but this is the cheat one okay so cheat I'm gonna put this here because I want to remove that 34 strength requirement you could do it in a few ways so now this opens okay um, this will scroll through this should be easy enough any properties you have so it doesn't have any properties okay so it's not counting that 34 strength as a property so now we're gonna scroll through it here these are to add a property by cheating you're, you're adding a property without creating it via enchanting so this Honest. is cheating okay restriction special is what I'm looking for okay so once you've got special the category that you're looking for these two go up and down chance to ignite target let's get started messy kills you can scroll through these and pick which one you want okay what I'm looking for is no attribute requirements then you do plus one this would be the biggest cheat I use now I can wear this right because it took away the strength requirement <laughs> I look funny because it's for short little dwarves and I'm sort of a midget looking in it okay that's cool so I'm like ooh I really don't like the way that armor looks yuck bad choice I go out of here and I first I need to take it off because you have to be able to set it look at me oh yeah you need to be able to set it in this thingy so this as you can see on the side has to do with what it looks like open it up super armor of pooping goes inside close now I'm gonna put it back on myself did it really give it back the strength requirement how bizarre let's go put it on someone else so there are some glitches hi don't mind me being naked uh, let's put it on Sten because he can do it all right Sten oops Is he wearing it? It looks totally different on him. Oh, it's giving us a skin preview, that's why. Okay. So, here's our guy. Now it's in now these things are li light up. 
Dwarven chainmail, scale armor. Right. You can look at all of these different types. There we go, there's the dwarven. On it. And then you can select which one you want. Right. Okay. These have to do with um, transforming it into different category. So now it's heavy, now it's lighter, now it's lighter, right? Okay. I can make it massive if I want. Oh, or it just magically... As you wish. Sometimes it disappears, I swear. <gasps> That's never a... Whoopsie. That's never a good thing. Here we go. Put it back on him. Alright, Sten. Uh, what are we... What are we in now? Star metal? Let's get started. Okay, this is like... Oh, shoot nuggets. Okay, there's glitches. I admit, there are glitches. Um, I want to make it back to... As you wish. Here we go. Scale armor, since that's what we started with. And pick something that looks better. There are so many good choices here. Let's get started. Let's get started. Alrighty. I think I like that one. So now I'm just going to click this little heart. I heart that one. Alright, Sten, take it off. Get naked. Ew, why is there water on my chair? Ick. 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 So there is some reverting. Look at us. We're all naked together. We're like, hey guys, want to see us naked? Why, yes I do. Mr. Sten. Okay. Sorry. Easily distracted by naked people. Let's see. I want to cheat again and see if I can get this to stay. Oh, look. It's not requiring it now. What? What up? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. There's glitches. Just mess with it. So now she looks all super fancy in this if she wants to wear this oh she's so pretty I like her um what do I want to show you next oh yeah of course so let's say I want to change my Alistair's shield say ah uh, say I don't like that thingy there right so let's take shoot alrighty sometimes my game decides to crash which sucks and pisses me off. So let's just, uh, so she's back in her um, original clothing. Let's get her naked and change what she's wearing to let's get started. chain mail. I should probably put it back on her so I can see what's happening. Um, why is it not changing? Can it not make it harder? This should be easy enough. Or legion armor. Oh, that's glitchy as heck. That's super weird. Let's put her in the chantry robe. Now I want to... Oh, it's because I wasn't using the cheat. Okay, it's saying there's another armor in there. Just exit it and then wait for it to load again. While we wait for it to load, see this little magical goose? This is a cool mod you can get on Nexus. And every time you click it, she magically creates a golden egg. Oh, no. All right, sorry about that. It just keeps crashing. So every time she creates a golden As egg, it shows up in her inventory and they sell for 100, 100 gold pieces each or sovereigns, whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's stop messing with her and show you the shield stuff. 
I don't know why it keeps crashing with weird things. I think I just have way too many mods all mixed together. So, we clicky this click be easy enough. on this. No, we want the shield, so we're going to click here. And then say, okay, Alistair, there's your shield. And then we want to see what it looks like as we mess with it, so we're going to put it right back on Alistair. There we go. Now this is going to change the picture on the shield. And there's like a butt ton of these. Not just a ton, a butt Let's get started. ton. And you can pick... Let's get started. Okay, stop saying that. You can pick a bunch of really dorky ones right. or ones that you like. Or if you're like, this sucks, let's, get started. let's just have nothing. Okay, this one doesn't have like a heart thing for some reason. Just whatever you leave it on is how it stays. As you wish. So... Let's get started. Right. Here's some options. Okay, let's say we want that one and we're just going to keep it. Alright, so let's say I want to... Yes. Won't be able to change this item. Ruins embedded. Do you wish to remove those runes? No. Um, oh, so it's still... Do I have runes on his shield? Nice. Uh, okay, well, this has to do with changing the material. So let's do hers again. Let's hopefully do this right this time. Okay, woman, face towards the... See, she's pretty. Okay, now I'm going to push this button. Do you want to use this item to... No, I don't. So we need to exit. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is another cool mod. That you can have your Honest. summoning portal anywhere. Isn't that neat? And I don't want to travel. Thank you. You can change, by the way, all of these things to be able to use at your camp only. Or you can make it so that uh, people can use them anywhere. Sorry, I wanted to put that there. I think I'm just, it keeps crashing, so I'm just going to save it. Okay. I can always load my previous vision. Now, what were we doing? Okay, so we're going to mess with her armor. And here we go. Open. Here's the armor. Why won't you go in here? Why are you, are you a turd? Oh, is this... Oh, okay. It didn't seem like it went in there, but it did. Now let's put it on her. This says it's going to change the tier. Right? If you read on the right side. Uh, this one... Material. Increase the material tier. Okay. And this one... Retrieve the next compatible material of the same tier, so you can change the way it looks. That's that's pretty epic, huh? Right? So same tier, tier 7. These are all your various options. So she can look pretty sweet. Why are you... There. Okay, now let's say I want to change On the it. tier. There's no higher one, okay. Let's downgrade it. Wow, there's some pretty colors though, aren't there? Hey, that's what the hands should look like. Huh. They're made out of a different material. So yeah, this you can do this to make your people match. If you like. Uh, so let's say, okay, I'll downgrade the tier. Now when we look at the item, it's tier 4. Okay, so it's downgraded everything. <coughs> so I guess you can only get that look in that tier um, if you want to have a different Let's get started. oh there's no alternative okay so this is because I'm not in cheat mode you can use um, you can have set your settings to be able to use um, material that you don't have and just cheat change stuff which is fine if you want to do that I just don't have it set to that right now okay so let's say I want the highest tier uh, and I want to burp. Uh, but I want it to look... So this is how you can make all your armor awesome. 
let's say I want it to look like that. I'm like, sweet, okay. But now I really want the, um, oh, I guess that you can reset it doing that. Okay, whatever. If I want, but say I want the gloves to match. I would just put the gloves in and I would do the same thing till they match. So that's what I was going to show you. But I guess that's tedious, so let's move on. Um, I'm going to change this. Use to change the icon of the accessory. So, um, plus, place the accessory you wish to modify. So, um, let's go with this one. Close. Alright. Um, I've never used this before. So, I don't know how it works, but... You can use use to change nature of the magical properties. I don't know enamel paints. Drag and drop accessory first. Frick, I don't know, man. Let's do. Okay, that. And then let's do enamel paints. Close all. I really can't tell you what's happening. Huh? Where did I get that? So, obviously, I don't know everything about this. Um, because I don't really care about that part. Okay, if anyone knows more about these buttons, tell me, because I don't care. Um, this you can use to transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Properties from one item to another. I think, I think you do it with the tool. I'm not sure. I've done it before, though. So say I want, um, say I want, don't we have one that doesn't have anything on it? No? Alright, let's just then remove some stuff from things. Okay, take that out of there. Go back. As you wish. Click this. Take all. See, now all of it's empty. Take all. Okay. Now, say, I think you could have something already on the item, but if you want... Do, do, do. I want to get here again. I don't like how this has such a long cooldown. Right. What's the point of a cooldown on that? Okay. So it says, place your first item in the container. Hmm... I can't remember what order it goes in. Close this frame to continue. Oh, I'm in the wrong part. Sorry. Here we go. You can't use this tool when another ability is active. Well, your mom On is it. active. I don't know. I guess we need to exit out of here again. La 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 la. For your entertainment while waiting. La 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 la. Okay, thank you, Hooker. Now, here we go. Here we go. The source item. Okay, I want all this crap to be put on. Now, drag and drop the destination item. I want it all to be put on this battle axe. Close. Okay, I think it magically does it. There we go. It's all been transferred and then it destroyed the armor nowhere to be found okay I did it yeah I did that's a different one. Oh my gosh I am so irritated with this mod and I can't figure out what mod it is and I can't because every time I take off a mod these things are still freaking here if anyone knows what this mod is and can tell me I would love it anyway let's save it real quick because of course it's gonna crash again because that's how life is for me um, okay, this one. <coughs> Visual effects. Now, this one's super fun. Okay, let's go with... Uh, bone dagger. Alright. You are making too many... Actually, let's do... Don't we have one that doesn't have any effects on it already, please? Here we go. 
I feel like you can't see it real well. Alrighty, there we go. So I want to put effects on this. So I'm going to click here. Well, first, wait. First, unequip it. And then click here. And then drag it here. Close. Re-equip it so you can look at what the heck you're doing. And now, scroll through the various, effect, various effects. Right. Neat, huh? <coughs> Ooh, blood flame. Entropy. Let's get started. Stone weapon. Holy weapon. Fade flame. Spirit weapon. Aura of mana. Okay. So then you just keep it, and then I want you to see that it doesn't actually... <coughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't actually add any bonuses. It just gives it that cool effect, right? So now I can run around and this thing will be all glowy. Alright. Um, what does this do? Opens a shared... Oh, this is how you can reach... Oh, frick. Would you just stop being such a dirty hooker slut? On it. What other toolboxes open? Oh, well, let's see this one. Used to set up item tool set. This skill display displays a special container frame. Place item wish to modify and click close. I have no idea what that does because it never... Do you wish... I don't know. Hey, I can help with some things. I thought that had to do with item set. <coughs> I think we this need to be easy exit enough. and come out. So this is why this cooldown pisses me off. Your mom should be easy enough. Wait for it. And boom. Okay. I want these guys to be in the same tools in the same set, okay? So it's gonna tell me Helm Duelist Grace. Um, Rangers Deliverance. Oh, I guess it can change it, huh? I honestly don't mess with the sets a lot. That's why I don't know much about it. Divine Guardian. <clears throat> Alright. Does it... Whoopsie. Does it change the stats? No, it doesn't. So that's weird. <clears throat> well. I don't know. The way... Honestly, the way I've changed sets is <coughs> is with the anvil. So maybe I'm not doing something right. If anyone knows more about this, please tell me because I'm open to it. Uh, grab it. Craft a new one. Modify. Um, remove rune sockets. Part of a set. Continue. Continue. Okay, got it. Um remove the object item set information continue now I'm going to go back okay I'm gonna do winter forge item sets um, and I want to make it part of dual weapon duelists grace continue and then stop working on the item I don't Oh, you stupid. Alright, it crashed again. So, <laughs> here we go. Modify item. I was coughing. Um, part of a set. Oh, I have to do this crap again. Okay. Winter Forge. Dual weapons. Continue. Um, stop working on the item. Please don't crash. Here's the item. I don't know that it actually says it on the item, it just kind of holds that information. So now I want to do it on this one. And I think, I'm not sure how many items you have to have to get a set bonus, but... Because I don't know how sets work real well. Hey, give me information on that if you know. Modify the weapon. Make part of a set. Winter Forge set. Duelist Grace. Continue. Um... Stop working on the item. 
Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, it crashed, but I'm back. <laughs> That's my life. So these are part of a set. Ooh, it gives a set bonus. <coughs> so if you want to be all fancy, I never understand what kind of set bonus you get. Is it, is it plus eight? Is that what it's telling you the set bonus is? That's why I don't mess with it. I don't know a lot about set bonuses, but... Sweet! So now, having both of those, I become more awesome! Oh, this is kind of like a help On thing. It. Help mode activated. I don't care. Okay, I don't care. Um, what do I want to show you now? <coughs> oh, more of the cheating. Yes, for sure. So let's say... Let's go over to win. Who probably doesn't have the best staff in the world. Hi, Wynn. What's on your mind? Oh, I didn't mean to it is um talk to you. <laughs> I just want to see your Oh, she has a good one. Okay. I'm going to go stand like this so I can see her daily. All right. So again, here. Uh what? Oh, you know why I brought that up because I left an item on the thing. Here's troubleshooting as well. On it. Did I? Oh no, I'm I'm doing the wrong thing. Sorry, 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 sorry. I even get confused because there's so much to do. <coughs> okay, you probably remember better than I do this thingy. Oy vey. Here's the lock. Now I'm going to put the staff there. Now I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to open win. I'm going to open win. Ick. Alright. So say I want our staff to look different. Uh, no, no, no. We're not doing the change of look yet. We're doing the change of properties. Oh, we already did this one, didn't we? What is this? Open runes in inventory. Oh. So you can do runes wherever you are. You don't need enchantment. Enchantment. Okay, we can go through these, though. So willpower to... Right. These are the properties, again, that are already on it. Constitution 2. Say I want to make that 4. I can do that. Sweet. Um, say I want to remove constitution. I can remove it. And then I have to add it back over here. All right, say willpower. Oh, she needs to have much higher willpower. I think there's like a max of eight or something. So this is cheating. Oh, wow. I don't even know how many you can put on there. <laughs> now you can um, right. penalty. If you want to add a penalty, if you're crazy, decrease damage, decrease armor, decrease attack, decrease spirit resistance, nature resistance. Fire resistance, cold resistance, decrease magic, low power. All right, I don't want to do that. Um, attribute, okay. So you can increase maximum stamina or fatigue or maximum mana. Here's something I want to just make note of, okay? That would confuse me. La la la. So. It will save 50 stamina. See how it says 50 stamina? And you're like, no, I want 50 mana. Well, the enchant actually says 50 stamina slash mana. So it's whichever you put it on gets plus 50. Uh, but it only shows up as 50 stamina as a glitch on the actual item. So anything that says plus stamina. But I believe the ma mana regeneration and stamina regeneration are separate and I can probably demonstrate that with somebody's ring I wonder if it's on one of my rings St yeah one stamina regeneration so those aren't glitched but it's the mana slash stamina amount plus amount that is glitched just an FYI okay I feel like I've covered a lot. The, I think the one thing I haven't gotten to is... Did I show you how to break down items? I don't think I did. So it's not going to break down any items with enchantments. You're going to have to find items that are free from enchantment. 
And it does that as kind of a safety. Because you can first take the enchantment off of it, get this, get the whatever items, and then, so every time. I might have already shown you that, sorry. Here's the one I know I haven't shown you. Here is epic cheating. Epic cheating. You can create whatever the heck you want. Say you're missing one of the, one of these, one of the formulas. You just make it and get it. Oh. Ingredients to make other things, I guess. A magic bean. A target dummy? Drink to gain a second something magic reward? This is, I have never done this. Blood magic. Access to blood magic. Vial of blood. You get a reward. Trade manifesto. Valuable to any merchant? Oh, who cares? A dark spawn boar. Ooh. A man's drink. Remove the spell rewards. Um, it grants one more rank in enchantment skill. So, you really want to cheat, you can totally do that. And then here you can make the type of material that you might need. Ooh, volcanic ingot. So, wow. I mean, the max I had was star metal, so you can even go up from here. This, um, I put in the <coughs> comments, I think, that you can still use this mod for awakening. It is for both. Anyway, um, I feel like that covers that. I, okay, for, for those of you who are bored to tears, you can end it now. But what I want to show you is the settings and how you can adjust them and what they do. You can do it um, from anywhere. You can do it from here. Or you can do it from this barrel. See configuration options. <coughs> Add on main configuration. So this means that it's going to hide that little uh, lock thingy so that you can't be tempted to cheat. You can't cheat. Um, I don't know what that means. This means that the chick standing next to me can roam throughout your camp. I don't Who cares? Um, this means that you can restrict whether or not you can create or destruct items on the road. Otherwise, you have to be at the camp or a vigil's keep only. Um, I don't know. Changes the toolbox. Who cares? All right. Enchanting options. So, I don't know what simple enchanting mode is. Uh, maybe maybe it's the use of the way I did it versus the old way where you have to scroll through text menus. Um, okay, so inscriptions to replace existing similar bonuses. Say that you have a sword with plus two strength and now you have an inscription which you've created by using enchanting that's plus four strength. If you, pl if you place that um, plus four on on the item it's going to replace the plus two otherwise if you disallow that it won't let you change it at all because it won't allow plus two strength plus two strength you know it won't allow it to stack got it got it okay um, leave disenchantment results on the atul or autel this means that they won't magically pop into your little chest um, here's change the risk of destroying items you can change it to never destroyed, but for some reason, it it won't change for me. It'll change to these other ones, so I just leave it at the default ten. Some people think their items should always be destroyed. It's just however you want. Um, you can get experience for enchanting. I leave it at default, disabled, no experience because I feel like I get enough experience other places. Change the item bonuses limit. Default is six. This is as many enchantments as you can place on an item. I put it to eight because I like superness. Change enchantment interface behavior. Always save disenchantment. I don't know, honestly. Um, scroll pile interface pop up. I don't really care. I don't know. Next page. Um, we already did that. Okay. Now. 
next page bonus limit uh, allow improved skulls behavior of mass essence fusing so no limit that means that you could put as many as you want on there and it'll all fuse to the highest that you can um, if you're trying to get a regular essence and you're you were being retarded like I was I guess you could put it to here <laughs> I don't know um, back <coughs> excuse me, forge options, um, material supplies, this would give you free materials. If you don't want to click on that little chest and create items that way, you can do it the old fashioned way and this will just not use any materials. It'll be free, you don't have to have them. Um, I don't know what that means, I've tried it. This one too, it doesn't make any freaking sense. I don't know what that means. Uh, store overhaul, this is what I love. So level restriction on stores and material supplies. If they are a low level town, you can't buy high level materials. Um, restrict chores, non-colored mats. I don't know what that means. Um, refill cooldown. I made it real quick. Okay. Um, I have it, this would be to change it to enforce level restrictions. I have it to not change it so that I can get any material from any store. It's a little cheaty. You can change you know how much you want to cheat <coughs> um, huh huh you can get skill points back I don't know the cheat codes pop up I don't care um I think that is it so don't do anything and leave. The reason I don't know everything is I just learned about this by messing with it and spending hours learning and so the stuff I don't know as much about is only because I haven't messed with it as much because I don't know about it as much so I don't know if you know more than I know please leave comments and I can maybe add to the video or something otherwise thanks for watching and I hope I answered all of your questions about this really cool in complex and confusing mod. So thanks for watching and bye bye Leave comments, but please don't be a giant douchebag because douchebags are made of poop. Okay, bye.